Well, welcome back. A first of its kind event is coming to the Grand Rapids downtown market, and it's celebrating a unique style, the bohemian lifestyle. We have Alex Witolski, the special events manager with the downtown Grand Rapids market, joining us live in studio. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. So the Boho Bazaar, this new event, just a few days away. Tell us what we can expect. Yeah, so it'll be in our greenhouse and banquet room spaces on the second floor from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Sunday, March 24th. There will be a ton of vendors. We're looking at over 40 vendors for this wow. event that are going to showcase items like macrame plant hangers and stained glass and there will be jewelry that's both polymer clay and sterling silver and then we'll have a ton of vendors for guests to come and enjoy. Uh, we are talking about the boho lifestyle. I mean, such a unique style, really no parameters to it. So people get to find everything. Who can come out to this event? Anyone and everyone. It's really a family friendly event. Um, so, you know, whether you're 10 years old looking for your first boho item or you're, you know, in your later life and looking for something to round out your home decor or something like that, absolutely you are welcome to come. And then you're, of course, invited to before or after head on downstairs and grab a bite to eat from our market hall merchants. Yeah, the good thing about having events at the downtown market is all of the great food merchants. So those will be open and available. Are absolutely. people able to, um, you know, eat, bring their food and kind of make a whole day out of it. Absolutely, yes. Like I said, we'll be open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you can come grab a little breakfast and shop after. You can grab, you know, do some shopping, grab some lunch in the middle, or you can come a little bit later in the day and grab a little bit of an early dinner. So it's really a lovely, fun day of it. And we'll have over 40 vendors, like I mentioned. So there is a ton of things to look at and potentially purchase. And you have so many events uh, coming up as well. But how did you guys settle on a boho market? Absolutely. So pop-up markets have been really popular at the downtown market. We've uh, partnered with a couple different companies that have outsourced and gotten the vendors for us. So this is the first year we're sourcing the vendors ourselves and really curating the market for ourselves. So we have seen very popular markets like vintage and handmade markets and things like that over the past. So we wanted to bring back pop-up markets in a bigger way, but also, you know, kind of internally host it and really reach out to more vendors and kind of create that that partnership with ourselves and a good yeah. way to support all the businesses that are out there too, small businesses as, as well as the food stands that you guys have and um, other shops well Absolutely. thank you so much for all the great information um, one thing I did want to mention is you said it's in the greenhouse space so yes a really cool <laughs> spot to host an event like that Absolutely. Great. If, you know, we don't have great weather this weekend, great place to still feel nice and bright and airy exactly. <laughs> with all those lovely <laughs> tropical plants, for sure. All right. Well, Alex, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And Thanks. it is 923. Still